Shameless Plug Studios. It's Salty Language with Brian and Tony. We're at it again. Yep. Welcome back to that, or welcome to the podcast that brings you happy fun time. That's right. The <laughs> Happy Fun Time Podcast, also known as Salty Language. Salty Language, episode 48. It's so salty. Oh, yeah, this is supposed to be, a, I'm supposed to be Nick Nolte, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Nah, busy. Busy. Yeah. Busy. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eddie Murphy, right? <laughs> uh, exactly. God. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. 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 Yep. Oh, Eddie Murphy, what happened to your leather suit wearing funny days? Exactly. Mad funny days. Yep. That's all he needs to do. Just put a leather suit or a Gumby suit on and boom, instant funny. <laughs> I'm Gumby, damn it. Or buckwheat hair. <laughs> well, buckwheat hair is a classic. Oh, Tay. <laughs> uh, if only he would make a real adult movie again. Whoa. I know, there's no money You're in that. You're not talking about, like, one with him and that uh, hooker you picked up, are you? <laughs> that lady boy? Yes. <laughs> no, not, not an adult movie in that fashion. All right, fair I'm enough. talking like, you know, something along the lines of Beverly Hills Cop, but not a sequel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give it time. I'm sure it'll be, like, Beverly Hills, Hills Clumps or something like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 All right, so here's what we do. It's Police Academy. Recast, but somehow we get Eddie Murphy in it, and and the Goot. Well, you gotta have the Goot. Mm-hmm. In fact, if I needs work. if I ever get a movie studio going, I want Gutenberg in every movie. <laughs> I agree. I don't even care what he's doing. I want him in every movie. Every single movie. Even if he's just some guy standing in the background drinking a coffee. Perfect. Every movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sign him to a lifetime picture deal, and I don't mean the crappy TV network. Right. Ugh. Well, he could play the abusive husband in every movie. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Lifetime. Because it's always the guy's haters. fault, right? Yeah. Dinner's never cold. Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so if uh, this is your first non-depression anxiety podcast you're listening to from us. <laughs> it's going to get depressing. <laughs> Strap in. <laughs> if you're looking for happy, fun, go time, you've tuned into the wrong podcast. <laughs> As always. If you're looking for weird news stories from two assholes, ding, ding, ding. Yep. You're the big winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know about that. All right. Fair enough. There's no chicken dinner. Uh, I, I, don't I promise sound, the people that, something that we're not giving delicious, them. sounds delicious, though, doesn't it? We're not giving people chicken dinners, though. I agree. We're not. I mean, maybe, but they're also no, going to get not. a side, side uh, of salmonella. Well, all right. Fair enough. Delicious. Right. And, delicious. God, and I'll tell you this. I didn't wash my hands before handling the chicken. <laughs> Who does? Yeah. <laughs> or after. <laughs> I just do the old hand hanky and get to making chicken. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I may or may not have pissed in the chicken also. <laughs> it's, it's just called brining it. You're yeah. fine. That's called uh, chicken broth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, brining it. <laughs> just throw it in a fucking uh, 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 roasting pan. Just yeah, piss all over it. Piss all over Yeah. It. <laughs> What's Delic- that unique flavor? <laughs> My lack of water. <laughs> yeah, because you got to hold off on the water for well, a day yeah, or two. Yeah, you got to get that nice golden brown, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I've never seen brine with foam on it. Or in it. <laughs> what marinade is that? It's the same color as a legal pad. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> A legal pad. That's not goldenrod enough for my taste. Mm, right on. <laughs> Gotta really get in there, you know. Got, Got to say thanks for all the, the shout outs and the love from the last uh, app we did. Yep. And for people that didn't give a shout out to love, shame, shame, shame. All I have to say is you fueled my depression. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even better. <laughs> for those who of you who gave us all the love, I feel even. <laughs> so therefore more love yay depressed person joke uh, uh, hilarious yeah i agree real quick uh yes. a tad of a follow-up to that also all right um you know how i mentioned Mini last follow-up. time like rob delaney the comedian had written something and i've said other celebrities have kind of coming out talking about this yeah there was a thing that i retweeted last night that it's a column about hugh Laurie, known as house from house. tv's house or you know, also known from a bit of Fry and Laurie, which if you're into British comedy, you should really check out if if they put it back in Netflix. Right. Anyways, um, about some of his, re- like, I guess at times he's had some very bad bouts with depression. 
Well, so, you see how many patients he loses? No, none. No? Oh, I don't watch the show. <laughs> I, I watched like the first three seasons of House, and I think he's like, I don't know. I just know, assumed he did. He's like 48 no, I think. Or really? Maybe 47 and 1. I think they threw one in there just for a loop. That's a but, hell of a track record. Right? That's Hall of Fame numbers. Well, that's why he makes big dollars on the show. Oh. That's why they tolerate him being a druggie and an asshole. Oh. So he can fix everybody, but he still can't fix that limp. Right. Hmm. Well, he fixes it. He just uses a variety of things like Vicodin and various other Problem? narcotics and things. Problem? <laughs> no, I'm just just telling the truth. And yeah, all right. that's, that's all. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah, again, you know, thanks for the love, kids. The love. Yeah. You know, and uh, thanks for the love to, from our uh, our uh, cohorts uh, on the uh, Pod Gods Network. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of fellow Pod God love as well. Yep. I got comments as well as, you know, retweets and whatnot helping us out. So <coughs> thank you, thank you. Exactly. Now, moving on. Yes. No, to, on to something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I watched an asshole of movies over the weekend. Well, now, I, I guess an asshole being three, because I normally don't watch movies. Now, the question I have yes. to ask is, did you fit them into your buttocks, then watch them? <laughs> of course. Or, no. or did you, like, once you were done watching them, cram them into your Well, they were all digital, cavities. so oh. I don't know how that works. I don't know. I don't know. Because I was going to say, you know, did you try to fill yourself up, or did you I go... Mean, I guess I can... You know, jam an Ethernet cable to my ass. <laughs> a jump drive, maybe? I, I don't yeah, know. Can... <laughs> Breaking DVDs in half. Oh, that sounds, oh. <laughs> that sounds horrible. One guy, one jar. Oh, oh boy. seriously. Yeah, <laughs> check that out. Yeah, have fun. Search that out. Yeah, it's almost as fun as I, Blue Waffle. I won't Waffle. put that on our website. <laughs> yeah, and me either. Ugh. Like I said, almost as fun as Blue Waffle. Almost, almost. Almost. <laughs> No, I, I decided to watch the Thor. My chair's sinking again. I see that. <laughs> I'm now lower than the microphone. <laughs> get low, get low. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I decided to watch Thor. Right, not the almighty Thor, not which is a like classic. Regular Thor. Like Marvel's Thor. And all it is is Avengers Prelude, basically. Oh, of course. Yeah. With way, way too much CGI. Yes. I wasn't. It does I, have a lot I of mean, CGI. Yeah, it didn't really do anything for me, I'll yeah. be honest. Except for what's when um, Chris Helmsworth is... Uh, shirtless well of course yeah you know, you gotta, i know you were furiously mad you gotta have your point. moments the, the one moment i did actually like and uh, spoiler were people spanking I don't mjolnir know if you. you will dude when he when he just set mjolnir on uh loki's chest oh, that was great. <laughs> i was like that's pretty funny yeah i agree yeah yeah, yeah. that was fantastic then he's, he can't get up <laughs> <laughs> so when i saw what he was doing i was like what the fuck and then when i saw it i was like oh okay that's he was like writing. oh smart <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I, I love that he was like struggling with it too. <laughs> so I watched that. Yep. I watched Fast Five for some reason. Oh man! It, well, you know HBO Go and it was there, and I'm like, mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. which for an, a mindless action movie wasn't that. I've bad. actually it, when, didn't they cover it on um, how did this get made? I have no idea. I kind of stopped listening to that podcast. Oh okay. I got I I got so far behind. I said fuck it. Oh, all right. Flip <laughs> birds at it and walked yeah, that's away. Fair. A little stone cold action. Exactly. Yep. Middle but finger, it, middle finger, kick stun. The thing I had a problem with is I had a problem suspending my disbelief. Yeah, you that'll know? happen. Like, what? That Vin Diesel keeps getting work? Hey, oh! No! He should have just stuck as the Iron Giant and been done with oh, it. Don't get me started on that Uber movie. Man. I fucking love that movie. But uh, Real quick, if, you, if folks, if you have not seen Iron Giant, first of all, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Second of all, if you have Netflix, it's in Netflix. Finish the podcast, then go watch it. It's fantastic. It is a good and one. It's a cartoon. It's aimed at kids, Diesel but it's a fucking great movie. But it, it, the, the, Vin Diesel's best work easily. It, easily. <laughs> Either that or... Not that that's tough. The one where he was the nanny. I don't remember what it was anymore. The pacifier. <laughs> the nanny. Oh not my not God. Hulk Hogan, the nanny. Here I am thinking you're going to go but it's, it's, black. But it's basically like the nanny 2.0. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. But, um, what no, the fuck it, was that Hogan movie? It was the nanny. Was it? Yeah, because the oh, Vin Diesel right. one was the pacifier. <laughs> but uh, <sighs> all right. but I had trouble. And maybe all my, my questions are answered in the previous fast. Because I watched the first one. I wasn't really into it. And I, and then I yeah, watched I've watched the one. first one. It's the only one I've yeah. watched. Like, but these gay people, this group of, gay, of thieves mm -hmm. have this ridiculous bankroll yeah. <laughs> that I don't understand where yeah. it came from. I, I, you know, I, without looking, I'm 
pretty sure that how did this get made covered this. You should listen to that. Okay, one. I should because I yeah, there I had a lot of questions like how is this possible? Yeah, yeah. And it's it's my problem is I I, I got to suspend the disbelief and just sit back and eat my popcorn and yes. enjoy myself. Also, and because I'll forget, they had a forty minute episode where they interviewed Danny Trejo. Oh, nice. You should listen for to Machete. That. Machete. I haven't watched Machete. No, yet. actually, oh, I want to. Yeah. No, they're actually it's for a movie coming out soon called Badass. Oh, that's nice. based loosely on Epic Beard Man. Okay, I have seen that trailer. Which I have in my Netflix queue to send me the disc because I think you and I should review Badass. Yes, I agree. Because it's got Danny Trejo in it. Yes, Anyways. And it's Epic Beard Man. Yes. Um, but then I watched Paul, the Simon Pegg. Uh, mm, right, with the alien. Nick Frost, I think his name is, movie. Yeah, I think so. With Basically the hot fuzz Shaun of Dead people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good. Yeah. Uh, it had Seth Rogen as the voice of Paul, yes. the alien. But it had some moments where I, it made me laugh. So, All right. But it's on HBO Go, so if you don't have that, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in uh, On Demand, too. Oh, there you go. I don't know. It wasn't terrible. For those of us without HBO Go. You know? Mm-hmm. Although, did you see my tweet the other day? Uh, oh, our, yeah. That, 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 our local in negotiations. cable provider is attempting to get that. Some Which I figure terrible. what's going to happen is they'll wrap negotiations in about October. Right when your shit disappears. Then they'll offer it as a Christmas, like post-Christmas yes. bonus, which, yeah. No, it makes you null and void. And I'll be stuck getting my discs through Netflix so I can watch The Wire. Omar coming. Omar coming. God damn it. That's an art show I got to get up on, The Wire. Right. So that's, so those are your. Those are, I watch those movies over. I, actually, I watched them all on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it was movie, movie day. Oh my. Because normally I'm so busy on the weekend. Mm-hmm. And that was the one, I'm, I had nothing. I'm like, fuck it. I'm sitting around. Yeah. I haven't sat around in a while. <laughs> so I'm going to just kick my feet up and enjoy myself. That's tell, fair. Tell my kids to go clean the room while I sit here. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we're done. Then go clean my room. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was. Go knock on the neighbor's nice. door. Ask if they have rooms to clean. <laughs> Get on it. Yeah, it was actually quite nice. I have to say. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Did you get? Yeah, no. I wasn't doing Macho Man. So. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, geez, Mike stand malfunctions. <laughs> that Mike stand needs a little Cialis. Yeah, we'll put it in a bathtub to soak. Because <laughs> you never know when the right time. Ugh. Anyways. Sorry for the random sounds, folks. That's me using the uh, <laughs> the old hillbilly screwdriver, <laughs> yeah, a a.k.a. Penny. a penny. <laughs> yeah, if I had a dime, it would work better because they're smaller. But anyways. <clears throat> All right. You got any fun and exciting hijinks? Dude, it's me. All right. No. Okay. After the last podcast, what exciting hijinks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I got. I, I got a, a couple minute or about a minute rage dump right here. All right. So we're at Kroger the other day, which uh-huh. is a grocery store uh, near us in case you're not familiar with Kroger. I get out of the car. We're right next to one of the cart corral things. Right. Where right. people can, you know, return the carts. There is a cart sitting next to the cart corral. Like on the other side of the cage? Yeah. Lazy fuck. Right. And all it, you know what it looks like? It looks like somebody pushed it up to like the passenger door and left it there. Like unloaded and then left. Probably had like a... Anyone that does that should be immediately executed. Exactly. Yeah. Now, the only thing I could do is if you want to assume any hope for humanity, which I don't, but it just in case, if you're an optimistic person, which again, if you've listened to the last podcast, you know I'm not. um, The only thing I could think of was maybe when they put it there, the cart corral was full. No, I doubt but it. But I doubt it. Because <laughs> most people don't grab carts out of the cart corral when they're going to the store. They just yeah. wait till they're inside so they don't have to push a cart all the way through. Oh, the God, I know. That's crazy. It's horrible. Oh, drives me crazy, though. It's like I'm looking around because I, I just want to find the person. Uh, yeah. And just Maybe repeatedly smash your head into the cart. Yeah. Look what you did. <laughs> it's like rubbing her nose in it with a touch of violence. Yes. Uh, <laughs> touch of violence. Just a touch. <laughs> I'm <laughs> rubbing their nose in it. And by rubbing their nose in it, you mean smashing their head into a brick. <laughs> yes. Cheese grater action on the edge of the cart. Yes. <laughs> a la ECW. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. <laughs> exactly. It's perfect. Yeah. So there's my You're there, you dump them in the cart and you do a little jackass. You get them going about 20 miles an hour into a curb. <laughs> oh, They just was, go catapulting out of it. I was going to say into the street. <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> Either way, Brian. Yeah. Just wait until there's plenty of traffic and... 
Yeah. yeah. I, 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 cart corral is the easiest thing in the world to do. When I see people just randomly dump carts in the middle of the parking yeah. lot, I like, also want to see. Yeah. The, the like only ones that I, I that I will give a pass to are the, when the people park quite a ways out and there's not a corral anywhere near them. Because at that point, I'm kind of like, you know, the store's kind of asking for it by not having one out yeah, there. If they parked that far out there and they knew they were going to walk. I agree. That's what I say. And if nothing else, just, you know, push it push it toward the other ones and give it a good kick. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Put a sail on it. Watch so the I, fun. You know, my favorites are the ones where there's like a, a, there'll be like an embankment or something out there and they'll just put it up on that. And it's like, that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy. Like, well, maybe somebody walking home will grab it. Ugh. Like the apartment complex right across the street from Kroger here. Oh, yeah. There's always a couple of them out front. Yeah, because they, they take them home, yeah. basically. <laughs> well, like Jen said, where, where her dad lives, there's usually at least one there, and it's basically, it kind of comes and goes. It's the, like, gro- who- yeah, it's the, I'm going to the grocery store cart. Yeah, you take it with you, and you bring it back, and then whoever goes next time has one. It's like, all right. Communal carts, it's amazing. Yeah. Gotta like it, right? Yeah, why not? This is an exciting podcast. Fuck yeah, it is. <sighs> Edge of your seat shit right here. Damn straight. So exciting, my seat is lowering. <laughs> wow. Right? My seat's raising, but it's because of all the duty. <laughs> <laughs> duty? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> uh, nothing aggravates me more on TV than when they have to use duty or like Chappelle show always said, doo-doo. Right. I fucking hate. <laughs> uh, I just want them to be able to say crap or shit. Or shite. Shite is a good or one. Something along those lines. Fecal. Yeah, fecal. Fecal. Scat. <laughs> Escape it, Avenue Daddy. <laughs> no, not that guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get into some things. All right, what do we want to jump into? Let's do Let's do the movie trailer. Movie trailer. After um, last week, I think, you know, occasionally or every week, depending on how this shapes out, we're going to maybe watch a new trailer that we haven't seen and then comment. On it. Hey, why not? And this week is the newly released that ne- neither of us have seen, although we've probably both seen parts of right. uh, the Dark Knight Rises uh, trailer, which should make us both soil our britches. I certainly hope so. Me too, because God damn it, this better be good if, you know, since it's the last one yeah, exactly. in this series. All right, shall we? Yes. Game on. Let's. Moody. So you know that. Of course. Hmm. Short back? round? Yep. Huh. I don't know. Who the hell was that guy? Uh, he looks very familiar, but I don't know. That wasn't know. Brian Austin Green, was it? I hope not. Oh, if so, I might not be able to watch it. you? I'm Gotham's reckoning. Oh, he fixed Bane's voice. Hmm. That's Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt there. Maybe that's who it was. Oh, that's no more bridge. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm angry. Nice. Mr. Wayne. Really? Huh. They're going to have Bane know his identity, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, broken Batman. Oh, it's going into what I always say about superhero movies. Got to take the mask off at some point. Oh, Heinz Ward. It was. I don't know if you knew that or not. No. Yeah. It's, uh... Remember where you parked? Oh, oh. Can Hathaway get naked in this? I doubt it. Mm. Unfortunately. Does Christian Bale get naked in this? Uh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I still want him to reenact American Psycho as Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Flexing in the mirror and Oh, jeez. Is the Batmobile flying? Why wouldn't it? I must have lost my ticket. Your wife said you were taking a cab home. My wife? Oh, okay. cat. Well, master wife. Takes a little time to get back in a swing of things. Okay, here's something I noticed. Okay. Um, they fixed the bad voice, or not the bad voice, the Bane voice. Yes. You can actually understand it. Yeah, it was pretty shitty the first time I heard Batman it. Batman didn't really talk, so did they fix the bad voice? No. That's what I want to know. No, you know Bale's going to keep doing the... Uh, yeah. 
sounding like he's Hawk from Legion of Doom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I hear me just this. <laughs> what? Huh? I oh, need so a throat lozenge. <laughs> what is, um, I'm curious what Joseph Gordon-Levitt's part in the movie is. Um, Cobra it, Commander? Let's hope. Uh, <laughs> probably nice. not, though. No. I, I'm just curious because I don't. I don't know. I, he wasn't in any sort of a whatever, but they featured him enough that he's clearly a prominent character. Right, right. Yeah, so. I, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I guess we could pull up IMDb and it would say. Maybe. But yeah, you would think so. I guess I'll it's all that research, though. I know. And we don't have a research monkey. And we're not fancy you know, enough to have, you know, someone using Google's or IMDb for us. I know. We have to do all this shit ourselves. Yeah, I know. What the fuck, man? <laughs> We need interns. I know. That's what I said. <laughs> so we can have them do random things we don't want exactly. to do. We like need get to, us beer. We need to contact like UT's uh, production and yes. you know, communications department and be like, we're hiring <laughs> interns. <laughs> I'll give college credit for this. What yeah, do I care? Same here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that'd be sweet. Right. <laughs> like all we need is for you to, you know, include your measurements. Uh... <laughs> Let me see your application here. So, oh, mail. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Sorry, we're equal opportunity employers. You know, okay. We already have two guys on the payroll. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is John Blake. You know John Blake. No, I From don't. the Blake family? <laughs> yeah. All right. I have no idea. John Blake. I don't know. I that doesn't ring a bell to me. Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell to me either. I'm hoping I'm not overlooking some like major character. I should remember. Yeah, every, our audience is like, fucking John Blake, guys. <laughs> yeah. Or like I, I don't know. How could you not know who John Blake is? Like Jesus Christ! I don't know. I just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know, it's funny. Of the three Nolan Batman movies, right? The previews of this one get me the least tingly in the nether regions. Yeah, they're not as exciting. No. The first one got me all tingly because I was like, yeah, like, this oh, is what I'm Batman more. reboot, motherfucker. And then the second one when I saw fucking Heath Ledger as the Joker. Holy shit, Joker, motherfucker. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And I was like, eh, Bane. Yeah. Catwoman. I, I'm, I'm just curious to see if he fucking throws him over his knee. And I don't mean to spank him. I mean just crush his back. I, if they oh. if they end the movie by paralyzing Batman. Oh, that'd be great. And then no one's like, fuck y'all. That's my three Listen, movies. I'm out. Dude, that would be terrific. I am a huge fan of not tying things up into a neat little bow in oh, movies. Yeah. And it rarely happens. Oh, exactly. Such a big fan of it, though. I, I, and it's not as a, like a fuck you kind of thing to me. It's just a, like if the very end scene was him crushing Batman's back on his knee and Batman's just in a heap and he just leaves him. Right. Oh, or like Alfred shows up and, you know, uh, you know, the, you realize but he's you know done. it's not. Nah, he can't. No. They'll probably, he'll hoist him over his head to snap his back. Yeah. And something will happen. Catwoman will kick him in his bane balls or right. something will She'll happen. She'll cut the, well, it doesn't really look... Like he's got the venom in the back yeah, of his head. Yeah, which was always the thing. the way of taking care yeah, of him. Ripped the hose out of his head. Or throwing a batarang or yeah. turning the, the dial all the way up because, you know, yeah. you would leave the dial completely open for well, people you, to grab. You, well, you got to get to it yourself. Yes. Of course. It's true. You just tell people to watch. That's not my my venom yeah. dial. That's my watch. <laughs> That's my Ben 10 uh, on the Matrix <laughs> yes, or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I turn into aliens for amounts of time. I don't know. I mean, Obviously. I, I, I imagine I'll, I'll see the movie. Oh, fuck you know, yeah. Then again, I say that, but I still haven't gone to see Avengers yet. So. Well, me neither. And I should probably get that taken care of. Yeah. That seems like a movie I should probably see in the theater. Probably. I don't want to pay like $80 to go see it, though. That's the problem with going to the theater. Yeah, I know. You know? I know. Like, I'll take a movie and a small popcorn, $30. <laughs> like, uh, do you have the title to your car? <laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> Uh, over here is our operating room where we'll be removing your left kidney. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Did you want a drink? <laughs> oh, 3D. We'll be taking both then. We're also going to need a liver. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of it. Cause, you know, it'll re and some bone marrow. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy Delicious. your show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even play the movie. You're just so out of your mind on 
you know, whatever they <laughs> They're just playing the old 60s Batman movie. Yeah, hey, that's all right. This is great. <laughs> I, wait a minute. I don't think Nolan would have used Bat Shark repellent <laughs> carrying the big bomb around. <laughs> sure he would have. Oh, yeah. That would be funny as hell. That's but, Nolan's way. Oh, of, geez. Okay. That's Nolan's way of going out. He just basically, this movie, there's just all sorts of things from the 60s Batman in it. Right. Probably not. I think it turns out that Bane is actually Adam West. How great would that be? Yeah. He's like, I'm the real Batman bitch. Yeah. Does All the, West. Does like the awful Scooby-Doo reveal when it's a completely different face. <laughs> completely different body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's Adam West underneath. All of a sudden he's a foot shorter, <laughs> yeah. a little, little pudgier. And <laughs> Old. Old, yeah. Doesn't have that chiseled Thomas, <laughs> Tom Hardy look or whatever yeah. his name is. <laughs> Oops, I'm throwing elbows over here. That would be so Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Man, trying to readjust. I'm elbowing shit. I'm punting your mic stand. <laughs> Man, I was tearing this shit up. Burn it down. <laughs> what are we, rock musicians? All of a sudden, <laughs> we're the <laughs> at the end of every pod. We trash all the equipment, trash it. as well as the. Uh, then Shameless we got clean up studios. your house. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Where's the vacuum? Damn it! We need to get a studio. <laughs> <laughs> or interns. Or interns. <laughs> Roadies. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Ah, shit. All right. Uh, we might want to move into these next. I don't know how long my battery's going to last. Oh, I should right. have pl- I just plugged it in. Yeah, but... son of a bitch. Oh, dude, that story's like six away, too. Uh, I'm more... Uh, what are you doing? We're talking these. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. right As we plan right. our show on the air. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's how we do it here. That's how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of saving it for the end, I think we should jump into it now. But I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Uh, we, uh, you loyal fans, you. Fucking throwing my whole plan off. That's what I do. God damn you. We, we asked you guys Son to call bitch. our brand new voicemail. Spanking new. 41585-SALTY. <laughs> to uh, send us your best dirty joke. Or, and the response was overwhelming. <laughs> or tell us how amazing we are. Or tell us how amazing we are. I think I I, sh- I got people scared away with that one. Maybe. They realized, They're you like, know what it is? No one called because they realized we already know how amazing we are. That's true. <laughs> like, these guys are so full of themselves, they're choking like a whore in a porn. <laughs> you know, like those blowjob you're all... <laughs> just fucking crying and, oh, God. So, yeah, all, we got all... Two of our voicemails here, Brian. Do we have time to play them? All? I don't know. I, I don't. I'm. I, I'm. I'll probably start playing. My laptop will crash. You know, given it is that an I, HP. <laughs> I've already had two HP laptops blue screen in the last there two you days. Go. So it's something in the you air. You might probably. be taking a risk here. Yeah. Um. I forgot to tell you. Apparently, my house outbreak. Yeah, apparently, for <laughs> patient yeah. zero is is our laptop. Damn it. <laughs> but. Uh, what, what's fun about this, Brian, Nothing. is Google Voice transcribes oh, the voicemails. This is fucking great. And Google Voice sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. it's Yeah, they're not good at translating. No. Yeah. So I, I'm going to read the transcription of this first one. Yep. All right? Yes, please. Let me just spin this a little bit. So Should we better. call this um, Google Voice? <laughs> Theater. Theater. <laughs> Dude, I almost killed myself with that. All right. Um, hi, guys. It's Road. I don't really have a drink. Joke Lang, but I have my name is 30 either. So I heard I thought would really get they that if you can, but one what you like, you can eight the number and even Brian up Mike really disturbing one. Nothing like online. So bye bye Hewlett conference. (laughs) There is one that mean that really eating. You can give me an okay please oh <laughs> hope you have a white all right now i think that racist i don't even know what that was that was amazing <laughs> now we'll we'll play the message but you know you already know what it contains so it's, it's, should we go into the other transcription or should we go transcription play i think you should play because otherwise right. yeah let's so, let's hear I have, have you listened to this i have not we probably should have. We but probably have should not. screen these. Fuck that. <laughs> all right. That's not how we do it here. Warts That's and all, true. baby. Fuck it. We raw dog it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hi, guys. It's Rose. I don't really have a dirty joke for you, but Ooh. I have kind of a dirty thunder. So I heard on Playboy Radio the other day that 
Wait, pause. Playboy Radio? Hot! Is there some schlicking going on in the car? Real quick, I have to say somehow she mentions Playboy. We have to make it unsexy. That's true. That's what we do here. Well, we ran. We read the transcription. Yeah, that, yeah. all right, fair all enough. Right, I'm, I'm playing again. Okay. And, I don't know why you want to, but you can take and semen and fry it up like a really disturbing form of an egg-like omelet. So my question to you, or Pondra and Tether, is does that mean that we're really eating chicken jizz when we have egg whites? Well, hope you can have an egg white omelet now, and I will have you guys soon. All right, so apparently you can fry up jizz as it, like an omelet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what you do is you have that mm. with placenta. There you go. Delicious. Delicious. Nah, probably maybe. not. Real quick, I, I do find it funny that in the transcript, my name appeared. I agree. And I did not I hear my name in the voice. I didn't hear your name in there either. Yeah. And it's spelled like... My name. Your name. Yeah. Strange. Hmm. Spooky, even. It is. Spooky, even. Ah! <laughs> hey! Moving on. Yes, no. moving on. And <laughs> no, right. I don't think I'm eating chicken jizz, because I don't want to ruin my eggs I eat every morning. <laughs> yeah. I, however, will co- will try to remind you that you're eating chicken jizz Although every morning. Although I dare to see somebody try to jack off a rooster. <laughs> now, the real question uh, is, one of the terms for, you know, spanking it is, you know, choking the chicken. That's true. So if the chicken spanks it off like that, is it... Is it like autoerotic asphyxi- asphyxiation? Hmm. Maybe they call it choking the human. Hmm. That seems weird. It does. It's probably flogging the dolphin or something. <laughs> okay, why I'm not? guessing they probably caught. <laughs> 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 All right, enough of that. Yeah. Did you turn the volume up just a tad? I just did. Okay. Yeah, I just pumped it up a little. Watch. This one will come through like yeah, it'll loud, be loud as, as fuck. We'll yeah. be bleeding out of our ears. I All right. Am. So this transcription is. <clears throat> Okay, talk to you late. Which go yourself? This is Matt Stone. I got a joke for you. So slow. I know what joke he's telling in this, by the really, way. Really, do you? I do. All right. Yep. Miss talking to him, and this was about 30 son, is all is said to her mom. I think I'm going to leave my house, but awesome. <laughs> Are you leave your husband? He's a great guy. I was money. What is this, uh, Triple D all of a sudden? Yeah. All right. Uh, the these hook. guys are on your national day, and there was a wasp article. Well, well, you know what time it is. All these years, oh, what is anal sex? <laughs> when I first got named, I might want to look at the side of a nickel. And now it's about the size of a dollar. Peace. Hey, Mom says, you're going to divorce. <laughs> I'm over 50 cents, and if it's those like yourself, a great day. <laughs> Thanks, Google. That technology is amazing. Fucking amazing job. Do you know what reading both of those reminds me of? Huh. Have you ever seen um, Twin Peaks? No, I've oh, never watched right. it. There's it's a character on the show that talks backwards, basically. Like Yoda? No, like no. literally oh, backwards. Okay. Like they, you know, they they take his sound and, and play it backwards. That's fucked and up. And anyways, that kind of reminds you, me of... You, 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 yeah, <laughs> basically. Ugh. All right. All right, let's hit play on this let's song. Let's what Matt Stone has for us. Yes, loyal listener, Matt Stone. Mm-hmm. Hey, Salty Language, go fuck yourselves. This is Matt Stone. That's what we like to hear. I got yeah. a joke for you. So this woman is talking to her mom, and this woman's about 30-some years old. She says to her mom, I think I'm going to leave my husband. Her mom says, why are you going to leave your husband? He's a great guy. He makes all this money. You just got to sit around your mansion all day. I mean, everything's going, everything's going swell. She goes, well, you know what? All these years, I always wanted his anal sex. When I first got married, my butthole was about the size of a nickel. And now it's about the size of a half dollar piece. And her mom says, you're going to divorce him over 50 cents? And that's it. Don't fuck yourselves. Have a great day. <laughs> I find that acceptable. When I saw the words anal sex and 50 cents you, in it, you know I knew it. what it was, yeah. <laughs> Which I actually think is kind of cool, like with this. I, I was Because his was the first one that came in. Right. And I was like, this actually could be kind of fun for me. <laughs> to try to decipher it? Yes, to try to figure out what this is. Like in the other one, when it said, hey, this is road, I was yeah. like, well, I'm guessing this is Rose. Right. <laughs> hey, However, this is Rose. I think we should refer to her as Road from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Every road has its phone. <laughs> oh man! Jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Good, clean fun. So remember, that's a four and five eighty-five salty. Yeah. To leave us some fun messages. Do it.
Yeah, it doesn't have to be a joke. No. Although, you know, feel free. Leave us something funny. I, I figure we'll throw up something like, hey, yeah. we want to hear this from you. Or, yep. or you just know. call to say, hey, whatever you want to do. It doesn't yep. matter. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, you know, we'll, you know, potentially toss you up on the podcast. Yeah, if it's good. Although we didn't screen these ones yeah. at all. Well, I... It was because of the overwhelming response. We That's knew we true. had to just get right yeah, to it. That's true. We didn't have time. We didn't have to get... time to sift through all those calls. I know, right? <laughs> that was a tough one. Once again, interns. <laughs> yeah, that would have been funny as hell. We had interns be like, "Yeah, we're gonna need you to go through the voicemail," and they're like, "I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now what? Yeah. Uh, do it again. Go fuck yourself. That... <laughs> you like that? Uh, all right. All right. So, shall we do some newsies? Let's do some newsies. News, news. I wish we had a news sounder. I know. We really got to get on that. Yeah. I wish, you know what stinks is that we can't sing. We're both with women that can well, sing. That's true. Well, we can we sing. We can. It's just terrible. Horrible. Yeah. We use the old line of the, you know, I couldn't carry a tune in a basket. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. Before we jump into news, I got another little, little, little geek bit for us here. All right. So this week, <clears throat> before Watchmen. Comedian number one, I believe, comes out. I think it came out today, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Um, anyways, there's a bit of a controversy in it, which, you know, not really surprising because the comedian's kind of a, you know, he's one of those kind of characters. Right, right. Um, apparently, they decided to write in that, um, or they allude to, well, it, it actually, from this line right here, it says that they allude that he killed Marilyn Monroe and that he was working for Jackie Ona or Jack Jackie Kennedy at the time. And there's actually from the scene in the book it says spoilers <laughs> says take that drug add addled peroxide whore for instance and that he says you lost me. She put in a a liar doesn't uh win points. Give me a taste of the respect you have for my husband. You know she's Oh, God, I can't read that. Cavorting with a gangster now. It basically, you know, it doesn't come right out and say Marilyn Monroe, but... It might as well. Yeah. yeah. And basically they allude that the comedian kills her. Huh. So, the question I have for you, sir... For me? I'm pointing at Tony, scan or like accusatorially. I don't know if that's a word. You can't handle the truth. It's like I'm... Um, oh. oh, what is it called? God, I can't think of that game now. It's Ace... Um, oh. Uh... Ace something attorney... Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, so do you feel that that's kind of out of bounds, or do you? you are I don't think it? it's out of bounds. Yeah, it's it's a work of fiction. Yeah, you know? I mean, the time frame fits. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, whatever. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that they, um, I don't know, that they didn't uh, make characters that are similar to right characters. But then again, Watchmen was a book that actually had. Real, um, world real shit yeah, it. real yeah. politics from the time in it. So. So I, I don't think it's out of bounds. It's just that, you know, unfortunately, the environment we live in now, people are going to be like, oh, my God, look what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Just like you heard about Game of Thrones, that nonsense. Oh, the Bush Yeah. Head thing. People are all up on arms because of the, apparently in the, I don't remember which episode it was. It's like. It's one of the first way few. Early yeah, though. it's like the second, or no, it's not that early. Or no, it's late in season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one. Because again, it's spoilers after spoilers. Uh, what's her face's dad gets oh, it's beheaded. Early in season two. That's what. Yeah, because is. No, is it? Yeah, because he gets he... beheaded at the end of season one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, because yeah, he Joffrey takes her up to show her to show her the head to show her her dad. Apparently, yeah. in the line of heads, there's a George Bush head, mm -hmm. and no one knew about it until the DVD came out. I think it was. Yeah, and in the commentary, in the commentary, they're like, yep. "Oh yeah, it's a George Bush head," and now. Everyone's like going crazy. Yeah, and you know, and the company that that does the effects or whatever, they rent like the mannequin heads because, and they cover this on. Uh, I want to say it was on Hollywood Babylon. He was talking about this story that they um, uh, they rent the heads because they use so many decapitated heads on that show right. that they they rent them or whatever. And it just so happens that one of them was a George W. Bush one, and they probably were like tee hee and put it in when realistically they should have been like let's not use this one because right. it may cause a scandal but whatever you know there goes yeah. that that uh leftist media again yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. i just you know i don't know uh, real quick folks i would like to throw out a disclaimer that that was sarcasm <laughs> jokey joke 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 i don't give a fuck yeah i i don't understand why everyone's all in a panic i don't yeah you i know, don't give those, a shit it's not like if it was bush's actual head yeah that would be a problem or if they did something like 
The biggest problem, really, is that the guy on the commentary pointed it out. Yeah, if if he would have pointed it out, no one would have ever known. Yeah. Someone would have looked at me you like, never you know, know. that kind of looks like. You know how internet nerds are. Oh, that's Somebody true. Somebody may have figured it yeah, out at some point. Because there's probably someone right now going frame for frame. They do it with, like, Thrones the Simpsons and shit. For, yeah, so, yeah. for shit now. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, that wouldn't surprise me at all. But, I don't know. Eh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? I wouldn't have given a shit. And, again, I, I'll, I wouldn't give a shit who it was. No. Like, the only, you know, and they could have done something funny. Like, had half a head up there and had it be a Kennedy head. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> you know? chips out of the top of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking great idea. We need to make that. <laughs> it's a JFK salsa bowl. <laughs> uh, you don't even have to take the lid off of it. <laughs> it's already off. The lid's on the trunk. <laughs> it comes with its own salsa. <laughs> it's a little low when you get it, but... <laughs> yeah, it's because the Secret Service guy's hoarding it all. <laughs> well, Jackie O's got some of it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'll she get some club of soda. We'll get that off you. Yeah, it's all over her dress. <laughs> all over. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> all right, moving on. Now let's get into some news. News. Oh, wait. You say news or nudes? I, I, I wish it was nudes, but... Yeah, I guess we'll go with news. We don't have any nudes. That's and if true. we did, they Damn would... it, we need interns. <laughs> if you want nudes, we can talk about the Octomom fingering herself for money. Ugh, I don't really want to go down that road, though. No. You know? I also don't understand of, why somebody would want to see somebody sticking a finger in a cavern. Yeah, I was say, you think of the amount of children that oh, dumped God. out of that thing, you'd have to finger yourself with one oh. of those foam fingers. <laughs> you know? Those Mickey Mouse yeah, pants. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> those gloves. With the, yeah, the milk and cheese gloves. Yes. <laughs> and it's still not quite big enough. Oh, seriously. Yeah, God damn it. Let's oh, talk stupid about some, octo some elephant ears. <laughs> Ugh. God. All right. Well, then. Yes, moving on. Speaking of things that make you want to... Laugh and cry. Oh, all right. Let's start off our news with some pedophilia. <laughs> hey, why not? You know, we'll start off on we'll start off on a high note, and we'll see where we go. Pedo bear at Jerry Sandusky uh, trial. I did see a picture of this. Advocacy oh, mascot is. pays a visit to courthouse. Now, by pedo bear, I don't mean Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> you would think. You would think that, but no. This is a different uh, character <laughs> that likes horseplay. Uh, fights. Somebody showed up at the Jerry Sandusky, which if you don't know who Sandusky is by now, seriously, Google it yourself. Yeah, or you know, let's get, just I'll get put it this cave, way. I guess. He's a creep. Oh boy, is he. He's a creep that like to do naughty things with kids. There, oh, I'll sum it up God. for you. And uh I think we covered him a little bit last week. I'm sorry. Allegedly. Yeah, okay. So Pedo Bear showed up someone dressed as Pedo Bear showed up to uh you know, show his support, is, I'm guessing. Please, did he have signs that say, like, this man is innocent, those kids are oh, tattletales? Oh, no, no, that would have been <laughs> funny, dude. Um, oh, my God, that would have been so funny. <laughs> he was actually a These witness. kids can't keep a secret. <laughs> he, he was a witness for uh, Sandusky's side. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fine man. He helped me get Character through school. Witness. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me a full ride to uh, Penn State, no pun intended. Ugh. That's about it for that. I just thought it was hilarious that someone did that. I think it's that. funny, too. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what we get into here. Oh, this story has teddy bears in it, too. Man arrested for the fourth time for having sex with a teddy bear in public. All right. I, I, I don't even have words for this. I know, really. right? Not arrested for, th for the fourth time, and this time it just happens to be yeah. for having. This is four times now this guy's been. So this time and three previous times, he's been arrested for having sex with a teddy bear. In public. Now the question wow. is: Is he That's checking into special. Foursquare when Shit. he's doing it? <laughs> oh, what's what's the guy's name? Does it say? All right. Yes, it does say. Um, Charles Marshall. Okay. Ah, oh, geez. Twenty-eight years old. Old Charles has checked into Teddy Bear Vag again. This oh. is a problem. <laughs> Received a citation on Wednesday for masturbating with the stuffed animal in an alley near the Elm Street Health Clinic in Cincinnati, Ohio. Wait, masturbating with? There, there was like mutual. Or? I guess he was he was using the bear as a flashlight. <laughs> he's like he's like the, it's a naughty giraffe. <laughs> ah, Wilford. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is the fourth occasion since 2010 the man has been arrested for pleasuring himself with the teddy bear um employees at the health clinic noticed marshall in an alley engaging in a sex act with himself or see it's it's with the so bear the bear wasn't involved i then. guess yeah Jeez, the bear is just a witness yeah i it's he was found using the stuffed animal to masturbate and has a history of arrest for having sex with teddy bears in public <laughs> you know 
Oh, so, there's nothing better than teddy bear lube. So, <laughs> all right. So this guy has done this multiple times. Yes. And they've put him in jail. He's uh, paid fines. Right. It's like, you know, none of this says that they've tried to help this guy get some psych evaluation. No, just throw him in the clink. This is Maybe tune him up a little bit. I mean, Willis here clearly needs... <laughs> He does look like Willis. Yeah, he does a little bit. Uh, but he clearly needs a little bit of help, you know, and unfortunately, it's just like, let's toss him in jail. Well, he's done this four times. Do you At think what maybe point do they go, say, this isn't working? Do you think maybe someone sent him like a plush bunny, like, sorry about your jail time? Yes. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. Oh, dude, how about this? All right, so when he goes to leave prison or jail for the night, you know, they give you the your shit back, right. and they're like, one bear? <laughs> and he's like, hey, baby, I missed you. <laughs> one crunchy bear. <laughs> uh, one crunchy bear missing an eye hole or an eye. <laughs> Uh, he's skull fucking a bear. He certainly is. Uh, let's see what we got up next on the hopper. <laughs> Queen's teacher banned from city schools for over the top sex ed class. Oh, this is, was this hands on? Is this Jerry Sandusky? No, 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 no horseplay. Oh, okay. I think this is in uh, New York, where nothing good comes out of New York, uh, right? It's home of the Yankees. They got good pizza. Mm. Yeah, eh. there's good pizza other places. Yeah, sure. Chicago and. You can get New York style pizza other places. That's true. Yeah. All right, you're right. Plus, I hear the anti semantic show is from New York. <laughs> That's true. Not those, even from New York. They're from Staten Island. Those, that is a New That's York. like the Jersey of New York. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, guys. We love you. <laughs> we bust balls to the ones we love. We do. We do. And everyone else. <laughs> yeah. And they love pegging. Um, <laughs> I'm in the middle of that episode. <laughs> it's a great episode. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyways, Anywho, moving on. Yeah, check them out on the Pod Gods Network. Yeah, exactly. Anywho, um, Queen's teacher has been banned from all city schools after he allegedly made inappropriate comments and gestures during a sex ed class. Former students told CBS 2's Jessica Schneider and Darrell or Duro, whatever, Barty, a teacher at Grover Cleveland High School, was getting <laughs> too explicit in his descriptions. He's been accused of spreading his legs to demonstrate childbirth and grabbing his crotch to emphasize a point about sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> then it gets all over your balls. Hey. Hey. Speaking of New York, <laughs> I've seen it for myself. He was a creep, said Leslie Sanchez. Dirty is her nickname. No, nah, anyways. Uh, Sanchez said Barty is a science teacher and said that she never felt comfortable around him. Wait, why is a science teacher teaching sex ed? Because um, he can, I guess. All right. Because he likes to grab himself and throw his legs in the air. Oh, yeah. You know? The way he looked at girls wasn't appropriate. Look at my ass, you filthy animals. <laughs> hey! <laughs> God damn it. I wish we had uh, Prado God to do that. From some... <laughs> That's where every time I hear him talk, I was like, there's a little dice in that guy. <laughs> a little, little dice, a little man. little dice. Anyways, uh, the way he looked at girls wasn't appropriate. And me, I really didn't feel comfortable, but I really didn't really say anything, she said. Barty was put on administrative leave in November when students complained his lessons were becoming too racy. Ooh, racy. Ooh, yeah. Hot. Parents were disgusted by the allegations. Huh. It's crazy because I have a daughter and I don't want her to go through this. She goes to public school. I want to be careful, said Eddie Rosales. Okay. All right. I don't. Like, She's, I don't. She, all she needs to do is log on the internet. She can learn all she needs to learn about sex. Yeah. She's probably already, you know. Yeah, exactly. Check her cell phone, so Dad. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, boy. Girl in mirror pics. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Dude. Yeah, check her cell phone. It's probably, yeah. you know, just check the scent box. Yes. <laughs> I imagine he probably grabs a cell phone. Also, he's got herp at a hand. So. <laughs> uh, hand herp. Yeah, like, oh, geez. It's from when you draw the dots on your hand, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the old hand herp. <laughs> The old, uh, the old handy blowjob. <laughs> All right, and the next story. For $240, dude will watch you have sex and tell you what you're doing wrong. All right. When a publicist contacted us to spread the word about a GQ profile on a sex coach who literally paces the sidelines of your bed, <laughs> calling the plays and gently critiquing your moves, we uh, were skeptical. I wish he was like an aggressive, like, uh, get in there. Yeah. <laughs> Slap that ass. Get, in, get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> How do I hear about your leg grabs? <laughs> <laughs> Slapping a clipboard. Oh, you said clipboard. Yeah, or wow. clipboard. <laughs> Slapping the clipboard. You can never find it, though. 
<laughs> well, it depends. What if they have a clit like China? Well, that's true. Oh, yeah. geez. <laughs> that thing you get hit with a shovel. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Walk in a room, you trip over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that, doorstop? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> getting out the tire gauge to check the tire pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man valve stem is the new term for clit <laughs> that's a good one valve stem the old valve stem uh, anyways, the old uh, dirty valve stem then we clicked uh, through and boy howdy the flack really did it really say boy howdy it does oh my god the flack really was using the word literally literally area man eric Amaroth gets paid and paid well to teach couples and individuals how to have sex. 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 <laughs> now, I, I gotta tell you. Oh, there's more story. Um, where is it? Oh, let me find it here, yeah, right quick. Right quick here. Yeah. I, I I just could, now. Wow. All right. Now he also because he's not greedy. Of course. Not. Does occasionally give away a free one to a couple if they write into his his uh, his email, which, in case you're curious, it's gqsexcoach at gmail.com. Is this the one where he gets to join in? Hands-on coaching, if you will? I think he just slaps your ass occasionally for yeah, you. Yeah. You know, keeps you warm, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got a trade Gatorade right there. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and exp and, you know, if you send an email to that and explain why he or she needs help fucking, I kind of want to get this guy on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to perfect our calling in technology. I agree. I want yes. this guy on the podcast, and I want to do a fucking Love Lines episode with him. Hmm. I like this idea. Where's this at? This is New York, isn't it? Yes. I said no, didn't I? Yeah, I yeah you said New York. Cause I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, just the, the sex ed teacher is Yeah, York. well, this is from the Gothamist, which is, uh, well, it covers very. Well, you should save this. This, thing. Yeah, that's not a bad. Well, once we start dicking around, see if we can take some live calls. Uh, that's uh, that's a good idea. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my goodness. What a world. The woman will have the first G-spot orgasm of her life, and then the guy's high-fiving me, and Amaranth reveals. One time the couple took me out for sushi. Why didn't you just stay in? Hey. Eh? <laughs> and after a particularly triumphant orgasm, we imagine some couple sneak up and dump a bucket of Gatorade on the coach. It's not Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the white Gatorade. Yeah. It's the, um, oh, I can't think of what we called that. The white um, Mountain Dew. Do you remember? It was Mountain Dew Cocky. That's Mountain what we Dukaki. called it. Mountain Dew Cocky. Yeah. I was like, fuck, we had a good name for that. <laughs> yep. Um, when I have sex, Amaranth explains, pointing to a few dildos. That's my penis. He's got him in holsters on his yeah. sides. <laughs> well, of course. Like the, the no, no, no. West. Bandolier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like uh, the dude from um, uh, Blue, Blues Traveler with the harmonica. <laughs> oh, I was thinking Desperado, dude, with all the throwing knives all over yeah, him. Yeah, or that. That'll work. Oh, dude, he's <laughs> throwing, he's throwing dildos. dildos. <laughs> just They're fucking sharpened. Just plugging holes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of plugging holes, shout out to the Google goddess of last podcast. <laughs> I'm just plugging all. I'm shamelessly plugging all of the the various people that uh, you know. Anyways, if I didn't get to you, maybe some other time. We had too many voicemails to get to. I can't get to overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelming. I almost crashed the server. <laughs> oh shit. Anyways, so he points to a few dildos. That's my penis, and that's my penis, and that's my penis. Wow. And that's why he's the sex life coach, and you're just some one-dick amateur blundering around on the Wait, verge of extinction. He said, he said, that's my penis three times. I'm picturing like a Wolverine gauntlet here. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Uh, we might have a site of the week. Does he have his own website? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Uh, there's, uh, I'll have to spend some time on here. Yeah, peruse. Hilarious. Anywho. Uh, wow. Just just try not to dwell on the fact that Amaranth might very well make more money than you giving hand job instructions. <laughs> and to be fair, maybe he's even making the world a better place. After all, one of his pupils supposedly had such bad coordination that when she tried to uh, manually service a gentleman, she couldn't even do the up-down, up-down motion. Did she try left-right, left-right, BA start? It could fucking extra guys. That's right. Oh, that turns into an orgy. Oh, yeah. Boy. <laughs> oh, That's geez. what we like to hear. <laughs> Mountain Dew cocky. Nice. Nice. 
Basically, hiring Amaranth is like paying a blog commentator to join you in the bedroom and point out your typos. We're just going to go find a cash machine. Now, listen, I don't want to find blog people if I'm going to get critique like that. you got to find trolls. <laughs> <laughs> you mad, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> but how much was that? 240 bucks. That reminds me of something, Brian. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? On Canaberry, Sagittarius. And it's time. It's time for $240 worth of pudding. Worth of pudding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good timing. This thing's about ready to die. <laughs> now it's come to the part of the pod that we <laughs> that you all want. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to jump on this dude's website, though, and see if there's some hilarity to be found. If so, it'll be a sneaky-style uh, site of the week in the link section. Fair enough. All right, moving on. 69-year-old man gets penis stuck in sex toy for 36 hours. Now, wow. the picture shows a fleshlight. He, clearly, he's using it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stuck in his ass. <laughs> um, now... The story itself does not specify what type of sex toy he right. got his his uh, wang dilly dally stuck yeah. in. Uh, but if it's uh, if it's a flashlight, that those things are made out of like soft rubber. How? Well, and plus he's sixty nine years old. I mean, it? unless he's trying to force a tuna Wait. can in that. You, you know, it was probably something that he shoved into, and then all the blood pressure backed up, and then he couldn't get Ugh. unhard. And get oh, it out. Probably popping too many Viagra. Like, like you hear about the dudes that use like the the stainless steel cock rings. Oh yeah. And then it goes all wrong, and they got to cut them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with like a torch. Yeah. yeah. Oh great. god. <laughs> <laughs> Just a careful doctor and a Dremel. Give well, me, need some small Asian hands. <laughs> let me let me read this because it's funny you mentioned that. Fire crews were called to a hospital to cut off a sex aid after a pensioner. <laughs> Had battled for 30... They just lop his dick off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're old. You don't need it. For 36 hours to remove it. Bemused surgeons asked for help when the 69-year-old turned up at North Manchester General Hospital and revealed his problem. Crews from Blackley Station uh, rushed to the ward and used a precision cutting tool to free the patient. It is understood that the pensioner was asked to sign a disclaimer before the delicate operation was carried out with medics on standby. Oh, you imagine the just flop sweat on his forehead? Oh, seriously. Oh, my God. I'll tell you... All the props in the world, if whoever went to do the cutting pulled out the old Michael J. Fox impression. <laughs> they're like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, geez. Yep. Should have had that extra espresso. What's that from? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like normally I have a couple drinks to calm me down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, plans were made to use a four-inch angle grinder to remove the ring-shaped object, yep. which sounds like a cock, cock ring. ring. Yeah. You dummy. Even though they show a flashlight, I'm guessing it was a cock ring. Uh, but eventually an air cutoff tool was selected. Cooling cream was applied to the area, and the patient was asked to sign a form acknowledging he was aware of the dangers of it. It took place in the operating theater, which sounds great because it's like, you know. <laughs> operating theater. Yeah. There's men in top hats and yeah. pipes and big red velvet boobs it's watching. Like, <laughs> it's like tonight, Dane Cook, but before <laughs> opening. 69-year-old guy with a cock ring. Yay! Huh? And the fireman. Yep. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, it took more than an hour. It is thought firefighters involved were offered counseling followed the incident. Because they're laughing too hard, oh, probably. Seriously. <laughs> you know this is one of those that, you know, it's one of those things that you'd love to read. You know how over time there's been blogs written by, um, like, do you remember the Bad Customer Service website yes, that was yeah. out there, which was great. I don't even know if it still exists, but it was fantastic. You know, like those kind of things. I would love to see ones for, like, firefighters and emergency room people. Well, you know, we have a good pal of ours that's an ambulance driver. We do? Actually, there's two of our listeners. Ah. Yeah. And I'm sure if they called 415-85-SALTY, they might be able to drop us a you funny know, sir, story. That plug was very shameless. It's so shameless. Don't make me start singing Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Um, so, yeah, if you guys, uh, if anyone out there has got an interesting when story like that, love. why not call us in? Because three calls, oh, man, I don't know what we would do. I don't know if we can handle that. I would probably look at the screen, be like, three calls, and immediately blow my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of the panic. <laughs> Shouldn't I be doing that since I have the anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad it is. And That's how depression. overwhelming it is. Wow. And then I would be so depressed that I would also exactly. kill myself. And then the podcast might end. Probably not. 
Nah. It's just been our hour of just dead air. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Eh? Yeah. Uh, all right, the next story. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Actually, I need a drink. So. All right. Cool. Unfortunately, it's just water this time. No uh, Tito's yeah, Vodka, no, yeah, there's no booze the official today. vodka of salty language, which can be followed at Tito's Vodka on Twitter. That's true. And there's no no beer at all this week. And we're not getting paid for that. Oh, we should be. Though. I really need to send something to them and be like, hey, we plug you guys on our podcast. Yeah, how really? about you plug us? Oh, that'd be great. Or send us some Tito's. I'd even take a hat. No, I don't wear hats. I'd take a T-shirt. No, don't. Bottles of Tito's. Okay, or bottles of Tito's. Bottles of Tito's. Yeah. We'll be like, yeah, we'll give them away. I'll give some to you, you give some to me. <laughs> when I... I'll pour you a drink, you pour me a drink. Seems fair. Yeah, it's, it is technically... Everyone on staff here will have some Tito's exactly. vodka. Not the interns, because they don't technically yeah. count. Plus, they're probably underage. Probably? <laughs> Definitely. I was like, dude, if you're in charge of hiring, they're going to be underage. <laughs> Put this Penn State jersey on, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're hiring boys? <laughs> oh, wait, that's Anyways. right. Anyways... <laughs> we threw that out, didn't we? Back to things that aren't as wrong. <laughs> Sheriff, father's father kills man sexually abusing his daughter. When? Yep. Yep. There is an update to this I'll get to also. All right. Texas father caught a man sexually assaulting his four-year-old daughter and punched him in the head repeatedly, killing him. All I have to say is this. Exactly. Good. Exactly. Fucker. Because uh, uh, unfortunately, from what I understand... Pedophilia is you can't really heal. Yeah. Seems like it's there. Yeah. You think Pedo Bear will be at this guy's funeral? <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> um, the father was casually acquainted with the alleged abuser, said Lavica County Sheriff Micah Harmon. Neither has been publicly identified. The girl was left inside the family's house during the social gathering while other members of her family were tending to horses, the sheriff said. The alleged abuser was known for his horse grooming abilities. That's not a dirty thing. That's actually what it is. The father returned to the house, caught the man in the act, and stopped him by striking him in the head several times. Perfect. Which is exactly what the law should dictate exactly. you're allowed to do. Now, I will say this. The Florida bullshit with the, oh, my life is threatened so I can kill someone that's got Skittles and tea, not okay with that. This should be a fucking federal law. Oh, if yeah. you catch somebody in the act of molesting your four-year-old child, you should be able to Not kill just them. Not just yours. Just any. Any. Yeah. You should be yeah. able to kill them. Yes. Done. There, what the fuck oh, is that? Oh, let's check the sound. All right. Hey, still all right. That was a weird pop, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. All I know is, you know, from the experience of being a father, you do realize that you have the capability to murder and yeah. that guy proved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I, I'm not a father, but if I saw somebody doing something like that to your kid or well, any kid, yeah. going back to what you just said, I, I would want to kill them. Yeah, exactly. Because that's just... Clearly, they need to be put down. Yes. Yes. It's like a rabid dog. Yes. Yeah. Did you say a rabbit dog? <laughs> yes. It's, where's the ears? Oh. Oh. Fuzzy tails, real cute. Is it in the jackalope and family? At all? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but only part of them is legal to eat in this country. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, fair enough. The fluffy tail in the ears. Yes. Yeah. Uh, asked whether they would press charges against the father, the sheriff responded, "You have a right to defend your daughter." He acted in defense of his third person. Once the investigation is completed, we will submit it to the DA, who then submits it to the grand jury, who will decide if they indict him. Harmon described the dad as very remorseful, adding that he didn't know the man was going to die. And honestly, at that point, yeah, he was. That, all, I imagine he saw a wall of red. Crime of passion. Exactly. It really is. Yeah. I, I, that may not be the right terminology, but you get the gist. Yeah. It really is. It's a crime of rage is what it is. But that's not premeditated or anything. That's just, no, no, you no. see it and you react. He walked in and was like, motherfucker. Yes. Now, um, from what... Gotta I, love Texas. I, I'm pretty sure that I read today that they said that this guy will not have charges pressed against him. I don't think he has any reason to have charges on him. Yeah, and, and I'll be honest, I'm a little surprised because, you know, there's been plenty of these kind of stories over the years where there was, I forgot it's where Texas, it was. Though. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know, I know. But if this happened in, like, anywhere else, Washington State, yes. it'd probably, New York, it'd be, yeah. be way different. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you because Texas is going to be, yeah. you know, and, you know, normally I don't agree with shit from Texas, but... I'm, I'm all on this board with this. Spit out their tobacco. Be like, Some bitch deserved it. Yep. 
you know? Yep. Yeah. And that's the judge. Yeah. So. Be like, that's some bitch. <laughs> nice. That's some bitch is lucky I, that I killed him quick. Exactly. I, I remember I always saw him. I would lit him up my 45 and <laughs> keep on my waist. I remember seeing a story, I think it was about a year ago, where there was a guy that was just walking down the street, sipping, sipping on gin and juice. Anyways. Laid back. But anyways, he was walking by, and he heard, um, like, a child screaming. And he, like, went and he ran around this house or whatever and found that there was some guy trying to abduct this girl. I mean, beat the shit out of the guy. Right. And ended up having charges pressed on him. And the, all the people in the neighborhood were kind of like, how about you don't like, do that? Like, really? Yeah, they yeah. were all like, he did what anybody should do. Yeah. And I agree. It's like, you know, look, be different if it's the kid's dad well, trying to get the kid to go inside. It's or, like when, or if you knew there was, like, a divorce situation where dad's trying to steal the kid or something. Well, it's like when you hear about the stories of people busting people's houses and they get shot and killed. And yeah. then the family sues. The it's like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, you're in my house. Yeah. You're lucky I only shot you. You're lucky <laughs> yes. I didn't have sex with your corpse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can't do that? <laughs> I didn't say you can't. I just said you're lucky. <laughs> That's all. You can do whatever the hell you want inside your house. I mean, <laughs> so my thought, so you can't like Kaiser Soze the whole like family tree. <laughs> yeah, probably a bad idea. Yeah. Use their head as a bong. <laughs> but Dennis Leary or a chip bit, bowl. huh? Or a chip bowl. Yes, or a yeah. chip bowl. Good call. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on. This one's got to be more uplifting. We can't possibly have had all this abuse and neglect and sex toys and. Our oh. podcast can't be nothing but, you know, thinly veiled dick jokes and mol- oh, molestation. I'm still a big fan of throwing dildos. <laughs> yeah, me too. I actually. <laughs> God damn it. There's got to be a porn with those in it. If not, there has to if be. If not, I'm, fly- I'm flying to Hollywood, dog. I like it. Touchdown Jesus, statue to be replaced by Ohio Church. Now, you remember Touchdown Jesus yes, getting by struck Lima. by lightning, right? Yeah. Clearly, God does not want that there. <laughs> Did, yeah. It's, you know, God was like, "Look, even though it's me, I don't, I don't want." And to... I, any, I didn't think it touched on Jesus every time I saw it. Yeah, I thought of the Fantastic Four cover of the monster coming out of the earth. Oh, nice! <laughs> That's what I always thought of every well, time I saw it. You'll think it touched on Jesus now when you see it because it's got both arms up, like you know, when they're signaling touchdown. I guess. So he's a no, they just put a Notre Dame jersey on him. What I'm disappointed in is they didn't make him Tebow. Ow! Like they should have had him Tebowing. I agree. No, that's really. a lot of statue though. <laughs> True. <clears throat> Monroe, Ohio, a towering roadside Jesus statue destroyed two years ago in a lightning fire will be replaced later this summer in southwest Ohio. Creepy. The previous statue was ruined when it was hit by lightning two years ago this month. It depicted a waist-up Jesus with arms uplifted, drawing the nickname Touchdown Jesus or Big Butter Jesus for its yep. creamy color. <laughs> That's what I always do. Yeah, it yeah. Butter Jesus. The new version will have a full-bodied Jesus, which I'm not really sure what that means. More hops? Um, maybe. Or is he a little thicker? It's, it's got some nice palatable taste. Yeah, yeah. Um, Either that or he's just got his big Jesus wang out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how what they're going to do. He's like, stick around for the second coming. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, yeah. hey. Just tickle the balls. You'll see the resurrection. <laughs> hey. Uh, with arms reaching out as if beckoning. It's being constructed with fire-resistant material. Boo. And do you know why? Because these people are trying to say... You don't fuck with the Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting all day for that fucking tagline, man. Very nice. The resurrection and second coming jokes, top of the head. That's how we do it here. Exactly. Oh, here's another joyful one. Barbara Hall had cooking spray sex, threw a bottle at boyfriend, Florida cops say. Wait, cooking sp- like So to use Pam as lube? Yep. Fuck what? Wait, you said Florida, right? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> and you know what we think of the Florida people? Hayseeds. Yep, yep. If you're not on the coast, you're a hayseed. Or if you're not a pod god. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Almost got us in trouble there. Fucking cooking spray sex. She was lubed up, then locked psh, up. Psh, psh, psh. I know, right? Mm, butter flavor. <laughs> I actually am curious which one it was. Was it the grilling, the canola one, the olive oil? I, I'm guessing it was probably... The sloppy cunt. Like, it, was, it, it was probably whatever Walmart's store brand oh, is God. N- cooking spray <laughs> no it's got to be see if if the regular is called pam they really need to have some other name but how can you get more generic than pam? it'd probably be like sam because of sam <laughs> oh Alden. i see what you did there and, and his creepy mug would be on there oh i thought it was gonna be like a pat situation where it's oh. kind of a you're not sure oh uh, well, well and, I, I, same guy whatever yeah, exactly 
A Florida woman was fine with bringing olive oil and even Pam cooking spray into the bedroom. Oh. Really? <laughs> but when her boyfriend brought up his former fling named Pam, she wasn't having it. When Barbara Hall, 60, asked her 45... Oh, <laughs> no wonder she needed Pam. Cougar. <laughs> Jesus. Like, we got to get something down there. Enough it's working. <laughs> Them waterworks been closed for years. <laughs> Fucking Pam. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Ooh. God damn, the damn had a drought. Is that what you're <laughs> exactly. saying? Yes, exactly. Uh, when Barbara Hall, 60, asked her much younger boyfriend, 45, to go to the kitchen for some sexual lubricant, <laughs> which is a good name for a band, by the way. It is. Um, he obliged, according to police reports, obtained by T.C. Palm. Then things got slippery. Oh. Nice, nice joke. Barbara asked if he had also brought the Pam cooking spray, the report states. Barbara believed the victim misunderstood what she had said and commented on a girl named Pam. He admitted to having sex with Pam recently on her boat. <laughs> That's even better. Hall then allegedly... Yeah, I fucked her. <laughs> on her big fan boat in the middle of the swamp. And I'll tell you what, she didn't need no cooking spray for <laughs> lubricant. Exactly. <laughs> we goddamn killed a gator and fucked on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> then I gave her the gator for shoes and a purse. <laughs> Hall then allegedly flew into a violent rage, punching her boyfriend repeatedly and then... Chucking the olive oil bottle, a keg cup, and a flashlight at of his head. Of course she's got a keg cup. Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Everyone needs 64 ounces of soda next to her. Night, night, night. Not New York. You don't, you know, no, you don't want to get in trouble. Ooh, it's against law. She told cops that she had no recollection of the assault. She was arrested on a domestic battery charge and taken to jail. Her boyfriend went home. Ugh. <sighs> Amazing. Yes. Now... What's funny is the video right underneath this is like how to make non -co nonstick cooking spray. <laughs> it's like, really? You had to put this underneath? Yeah. Well, if you want to make your own lube, I guess, yeah. at home. Well, at least it doesn't show her showing you how to apply it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you spraying Pam in that old catcher's mitt? <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, man. Who needs to lube up a beanbag chair? <laughs> Looks like the beans are spilling out, too. Oh, God. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's curd. Come on, this is a family <laughs> show. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my. All right, let's move on from this quickly. <laughs> yes, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, this is a story you sent in, which, God damn, we need some good food story after that last one. Yeah, yes. Although this is kind of funny to me. I think it's hilarious. Uh, everyone, I don't well, maybe they don't. Monsanto, if you don't know. Evil! Evil. Evil. They're behind the people that... Well, they're just evil because they're a big corporation, right? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, they genetically modify food and all this, so it's like you know, Roundup resistant. And Fucking sue farmers they, out of yeah, business. Yeah, they basically run farmers out of business if they don't use their shit, Ass. for the most part. Well, it turns out in their little canteens or cafeterias and their corporate headquarters, yeah, they've banned all Monsanto... Genetically modified food from being served, which has got to be a problem. Monsanto confirmed the position. Yes, this is the case, and it is because we believe in choice, said the company's spokesman, Tony Coombs. But employees at Monsanto's agribusiness plant at Cambridge were happy to eat GM produce, he said. The notice in their restaurant there says some products may contain GMOs, genetically modified organisms, because our staff are happy to eat food sprayed with fewer chemicals. Of course chemicals. they are. Monsanto says crops engineered to be tolerant of its own weed killers need less pesticide. But critics say that though the dosage may be less, the impact on the environment of these pesticides is much greater. Well, of course they are. Naturally. Yeah. But, yeah, that's that's good enough. On the oh, that's, that's fascinating that they don't allow their own shit. Yeah. That is amazing. You'd think it would, like, be mandatory you have to eat it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you will eat this devil yeah. food. Yes, this cucumber that's eight feet long. <laughs> and square. Enjoy. Yes, and, <laughs> and square. square. And, and, I don't, and it's breathing. <laughs> I don't mean like the watermelons in, uh, was it Japan or yeah. whatever, where they put them in the stuff and grow them so they... Yeah, they just come off the vine square. That's just weird. Ugh. Yeah, come off the vine square and with eyes. Yeah, uh, good old Monsanto. Yep. Watch, right. Just watch uh, some documentaries about them. You guys oh. are fucktards. Now, I am currently, for those who can't see me, wearing a shirt that has... The American flag made up of a waffle and bacon, and it says America. 
<laughs> and this Perfect. story kind of fits into what this shirt <laughs> shows off. Pizza vending machines are coming to America, starring Arsenio Hall and no, I'm kidding. Did Neil Young sing about this? Give me to America. Machines are coming to America. That's right. This is the All Brian Karaoke Edition. <laughs> the, Dear Brian, I'd I'll, like you to sing a song I'm, about coming to America. If it's not a candy bar or a hostess treat. Or dirty panties. I, or dirty panties. I've never gotten anything good off a vending machine. Hmm. I've gotten some bowling supplies. Well, that's not edible. Or I guess it Says is. Says you. But, <laughs> Those socks were delicious. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, I'm not feeling this at all. Yeah, I'm not feeling pizza out of it. Now, no. it does look like it's, from the picture, it looks like she's got like a full pizza in her hand, though. Like, or, you know, a good size pizza. I, I don't know. Sounds like a clever ruse. Ever have a sudden urge for crisp, crusted, ooey, gooey, cheesy pizza? Then go buy one. You want it stacked. Not in the time it takes to preheat the oven to 500 degrees for a frozen pizza. I think most of them are like 425. I don't know. I don't think they're 500. Anyways, um, maybe this is from Denver. Um, yeah. Not in the 20 minutes it I takes for do. the pizza delivery guy to arrive, and certainly not in however many hours it would take to make homemade dough and marinara sauce. Get ready for Let's Pizza, a pizza vending machine that promises to deliver a piping hot pizza made from scratch in less than three minutes. I don't believe it. You don't think so? I think it's going to taste like hot garbage. Do you know what it's cooked with? Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. The brainchild of Italian entrepreneur Claudio Torhale or Torgel or Is whatever. this the little chef in Ratatouille, the evil one? I think this is Chef Boyardee's real name. Oh, okay. Perfect. No, I, I really don't know. The machine will be distributed by A1 Concepts based out of the Netherlands. Yeesh. <laughs> It's expected to hit our shores later this year, according to the industry website Pizza Marketplace. Hey, Sven, go get some pizza. Because, you know, <laughs> the, the Netherlands are about. known for pizza. Yeah, the pizza there, delish, <laughs> with their, you know, get Chicago and New York. rotten fish on it, whatever that shit's called they eat. <laughs> uh, uh, Pam. Um, <laughs> that's what I thought. It's, uh, it's cooked with a uh, blistering hot infrared oven. Oh, shit. <laughs> There are more than 200 toppings from which to choose. I kind of want to see what all toppings there are. That's a lot of toppings. Like, what the hell? 200? There better be a vending machine tech out here every day putting fresh shit in there. No doubt. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want no pepperoni and cheese that's been in there for three weeks. Yes, you do. Okay, you're right. (laughs) Uh, Ah, the blistering hot infrared will take care of that. The machines can even accommodate a variety of dietary restrictions, such as those for vegetarian and kosher diets. I wonder if they have a gluten-free one. I would imagine. 10-inch pizza will sell for about five ninety-five, which is a reasonable price for a 10-inch pizza. Yes. Uh, Americans can expect to see the machines at malls, airports, hospitals, restaurants, hotels, supermarkets, universities, gas stations, and bus stations. Anywhere where you tubby Americans <laughs> gather. <laughs> Except for my house. Because <laughs> I'm still working on getting a Chipotle here. <laughs> yeah, it would be sweet. Oh, man. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. At several points in the above presentation, the makers stress cleanliness. Your healthy and genuine pizza is untouched by human hands, feet, and ass, though, yes. and balls. Tons well, of What it. about all the insects that, get that love electronics because they're warm and those dirty robot hands? 200 toppings. We covered this, right? <laughs> 50 of them are bugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> It's like an ant farm. Delicious. <laughs> Don't uh, shake the vending machine. It makes them mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So they need to put one of these next to every red box. That's perfect, actually. Right? Yeah, If these can movie. be franchised and red boxes, I'd get one of each and put them together. Yeah. You know, and probably a, like a Pepsi machine mm-hmm, or a Coke mm-hmm. or whatever or a Tito's vodka machine. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Why don't we have that? I don't know. Danger. You know what we should do is we should check them out at Tito's Vodka on Twitter. <laughs> shameless. We need a sound drop for that, like some crazy thing where it's just like shameless. And you know what? Every time we have a I drop, agree. boom. <laughs> we need to work on this shit. <laughs> All right. Here's what needs to happen. Yes. Somebody needs to give us copious amounts of money so you can quit your job and we can just go full time. Hey, that's it. that's funny you bring that up, Ryan, because on salty language. Wait, no. Wix. No, yeah, salty language. There you go. Dot com. No, salty language. Dot wix. Dot com slash podcast. Bitches. Ding. There's a donate button. 
Holy shit, there is. That you can click on that little some bitch and make our podcast better. Maybe. Because believe it or not, it can be better. It gets better? It gets better. But last week I said it doesn't get better. Tito's Vodka Machine. And Tito's Vodka. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next next story. Hey. Oh, sorry, that was a terrible voice. Man calls 911 on Grateful Deli after receiving wrong sandwich in Connecticut. Well, that is a, you know, that'll piss you off. And I'm going to have to say this up front. Part, I'm going to read from the thing here. And once again, this is a Huffington Post article, so there's horrible puns in Full it. of puns. It's, I wish they would stop that. Jesus Christ. You'd think they would try to be respectable journalists and not write puns in there. But oh, nip, no. They got to be. Ah, this will be hilarious, guys. <clears throat> a man angry that a deli had fouled up his sandwich order decided to take his beef to the police. Ugh. The man, identified by police as Rother, Rother McLennan of East Hartford, called 9-11 on Wednesday and complained that he specifically asked for little turkey and a little ham and a lot of cheese and a lot of mayonnaise. And the oh, great- that sounds like an awful sandwich. I know, right? And the Grateful Deli in East Hartford got it wrong. It's That's because Deli's like, this is terrible. Yeah, we're going to instead serve you a good sandwich. Yes. You're calling 911 because you don't like the way they're making your sandwich, the dispatcher asked. Exactly, he replied. So the cops showed up and tased him to death. <laughs> they just show bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> No, they brought the guy who punched the guy to death, and they were like, have at it. <laughs> McLennan explained that the person he was talking to at the deli was not the person who made the sandwich and was refusing to fix the problem. I mean, I just want to solve this the right way, he said. Her sister made it, but she left. They were playing games with me. Yes, because they're what a racket yes. that is. Oh, man, the sandwich conspiracies go so deep. Hey, guys, watch this. I'm going to make this sandwich wrong, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> watch this guy get all pissy. What a dumbass. Ugh. So I was just wondering if you could come by. I just want it resolved, and I want to be able to come back here and get the regular sandwich that I asked for. Before ending the call, the dispatcher advised him not to buy the sandwich. <laughs> Deli owner, Tila as in Harry. Why did she just hang up on him? I know, right? Like, I, I, I got more important things to do. Yeah. Deli owner tells WVIT-TV that McLennan had placed an order for 14 sandwiches, and the deli made them to his specifications. She said he was told that 14. because... Wow. Well, he was having a, you know, a sandwich humping party. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you like that? I'm out of teddy bears, but I got lots of sandwiches. Um, it explains the extra mayo. Got to, you know, lube that shit up. Yeah. Better than Pam, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. He's like, hey, folks, don't worry. I put my own aioli on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she said she was told that because the sandwiches were special orders, the deli couldn't take them back. She said he used her phone to call the police. He called the deli back on Thursday to apologize, she said. I think the customer realized how wrong he was, which I'll go ahead. I'm going to translate for. Her. She said that, but what she realized is he realized he was being a cunt. Yeah, he, he realized how dumb he was being. Yes. No charges have been filed because why would there be, aside yes. from wasting, what is it, um, wasting, misuse of. Mis, yeah, misuse yeah, of 911. Yeah, which should be brought up on this guy. Uh, exactly. Because, seriously, you should not be fucking calling 911 because a sandwich order is incorrect. <sighs> No, I, on the other hand, that's a different story. That's why instead of calling the police, she's going there and start throwing shit. Pick up some <laughs> chairs and be like, listen, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep these. wrecking shit until yep. I get my sandwich. Yep. You fix my sandwich or I'm going to just keep wrecking your place. Then the police will show up and then maybe you can get your sandwich right. Or get tased to death. Mm-hmm. Or get tased to death, yes. Either uh, way, win-win. This is a uh, bonehead of the week type of thing here. Lost tourist uses smoke signals to find help, which, you know, yeah, well, it's, you know and sets the island ablaze. <laughs> <laughs> now. <clears throat> that is awesome. A Canadian tourist who broke his foot on a remote Norwegian island <laughs> used smoke signals to call for his rescue. Because first thing he did was try to call for a bear. You know, in uh, Canada, they have... You know, like how they have those uh, St. Bernards with the... Oh, the barrels, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Canada, they have bears that are like that. Oh, perfect. So he was probably trying to find one of those bears first. (laughs) It just mauls him. (laughs) Well, he shouldn't have left the door open when he was taking a crap. That's true. (laughs) Good point. (laughs) Leave me alone, eh? Nice callback, too. Can I have some privacy, eh? Uh, Yeah. However, he accidentally set a large part of the island on fire. (laughs) Way to go, dick. The unidentified 25-year-old, which is a crime right there. 
the first thing they should have done was identify him. Maybe he was too badly burned. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could only hope. Dental records. The unidentified 25-year-old male was on the island of Hillsoy when he broke his foot, stranding him for three days in an area with no cell phone reception. Can you hear me now? He decided to light the fire Thursday to attract attention, which, you know, the fire soon burned out of control, and it took 20 <laughs> firefighters to fight the flames back by Friday morning. So, Dude, do you imagine the panic as his foot's broken and it just starts spreading? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You could just picture some. He's TV, trying to clap it out. Yeah, you could picture some TV show where somebody does something and then, you know, <laughs> something will catch on fire and then it turns into a whole thing. And yeah. Now. He's. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, God. That's hilarious. The. F um. Though 200 to 300 people live on the other side of the island, they did not appear to be in danger. Meanwhile, the tourist was airlifted to a hospital and treated for moderate injuries. Joram Berg, who headed the police op rescue operation, told the local, it's illegal to start this kind of fire, but in this case, the police aren't going to take any action. What they should have done was when they got there and they saw what happened, be like, did you start this fire? He's like, yeah, they should have just airlifted him and then shoved <laughs> him out in the middle him. of it. Be like, good luck. <laughs> now, why did they have to specify it's illegal to start this kind of fire? Yeah, you, you, like, oh, this isn't normal. <laughs> I thought that's why he went this there. This is a large campfire, son. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, welcome to Fantasy Island. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, you know, please partake in setting half the island on fire. <laughs> we have just regrown all the trees fresh for you. Enjoy. Cases of, oh, never mind. That's, yeah, that's them recapping other stories. Oh, my goodness. I read this and I laughed so hard because what a dingus. I think it's pretty funny. <sighs> Speaking of dingus, Wesley Warren Jr., man with a 100-pound scrotum, turns down free surgery offer. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, this guy was actually on Tosh.0 oh, two weeks ago, I believe. So if you watch Tosh.0, oh, you'll know who I am uh, talking about. 100-pound scrotum, huh? He's got like a fucking growth up on his on his nuts. Obviously. <laughs> and it's 100 pounds. First of all, before I get into the story, I have to ask a question. Yes. How do you let something grow that fucking big on your balls? Well, maybe at first he's like, not a lady is going to think I'm packing. Yeah. And then it just turned into something from space. Yeah. He's like, look, it's almost a hot air balloon. Yeah, I don't know. He's fucking some bitch. That thing pops. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like Gallagher hitting a big fucking watermelon <laughs> <Exactly>. just <laughs> everywhere. Oh, jeez. All right. A man who made headlines for his 100-pound scrotum now says he turned down an offer for free surgery to get rid of his bulging problem. What is it? Is he his friend now? Uh, What's the, why, why would you turn down free surgery? Yeah, exactly. The Los Angeles, or sorry, the Las Vegas Review Journal reports that Wesley Warren Jr. declined an opportunity to have the Dr. Oz show pay for the medical expenses associated with the surgery, partially because they wanted Ugh. exclusive interview rights. Uh, that I, that's it, dude. I would fucking tap dance on his show if I had a hundred pound growth on my nuts, and he was like, "Hey, we can yeah, we can we'll take, take care, care of that, that for you." I'd be like, "All right, what do you need me to do? You want me to show my nuts on TV afterwards? I guess." Well, I mean, see, the, pro I the problem is that that they don't remove it. They just cut his throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what they didn't tell him is they're not going to put any anesthesia on him. <laughs> like, hold him down, boys. <laughs> Bring in the lion. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. oh, I was just thinking of using a uh, belt sander. <laughs> oh, that works, too. Or a uh, chainsaw. Let's go with angle grinder. Nice. It cuts off cock rings, so why yeah, not? that's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> But Warren bristles at the notion that he won't get surgery because he doesn't want to lose the fame he's garnered because of his condition. Oh, go fuck yourself. Which is caused by an excess of watery fluid collecting around his testicles. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Oh, I'm so famous for my water balls. <laughs> Die. Oh, man. You'll be If there's the apocalypse, you'll be one of the first to go. Okay. Now, the next line, if he had said this, I'd be okay with it. Who would want to live like this, he said. I just don't want to die during the operation. Now, if that was his reason, okay, yeah. at least with that, you can go, well, you know. Yeah, that makes you know, sense. All right. As the journal previously reported. Well, last time I checked, there isn't major arteries flowing through your balls. Maybe there is with him. Well, maybe. <laughs> Jesus, what a dope. As the journal previously reported, Warren Scrotum prevents him from holding down a job and makes it, I don't know, his nuts could be a paperweight or something. 
Makes it difficult for him to urinate properly. Really? Dude, he's, you know he's just pissing all over his bag. <laughs> yep. He's got a... It's dirt... like a urine waterfall. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like one of those uh, ice luges you pour a shot down, you know? Yes. Oh, that's gross. Oh, God. Onion luge. Oh, man. But the surgery is complicated, and it carries the risk, among others, that his penis and testicles could have to be completely removed if surgeons Good. can't stop the bleeding. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Serves you right, right dummy. Look, if your thought process is, I don't want to lose my fame from this, you don't deserve to have your genitals anymore. <laughs> I think they what they should have done was hit him with a you know a couple elephant tranks and then um, just done it. <laughs> I agree. Oh God, fuck that guy. I hate people. Yeah. Now this is humorous. <clears throat> Warren's Facebook page, created back in 2011 to raise money for surgery, garnered the expected mocking comments, but also words of encouragement. Keep praying. God's going to fix this, one user wrote. Really? really? Yeah. God's. If you're doing the God thing, God gave him this pus-filled sack. <laughs> exactly. I'll say if you're doing the God thing, he's up there laughing. <laughs> yeah. Come here, son. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> How much water do you think I can get in that? <laughs> <laughs> At some point, is this water balloon going to just burst on its own, though? I hope so. <laughs> oh, man. That'll be nasty. Nasty. Oh, God. Now, the other comment they have on here is, keep your head up, another commented. You will get the surgery. I hope the next time we do a news story about this guy is because he's under a train. <laughs> Not a fan. Oh, my God, dude. Now, what I think is funny is, like, you know, if you look at him from the waist down, it looks like he's got Fat Albert going on here. That red sweater? Does he have to have, like, is his balls wearing a sweater? Yes. Is that what I'm Dude, seeing? Dude, it's tied right here. I actually, this looks like it's a uh, hoodie. Like, I shit you not. It's like arm, arm, zips up here. Right here, some fancy logo. There's the hoodie, you know, the hood for the hoodie. And then it, the ties. I the really hate this guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny because when I first saw the guy, when Tosh.0 first showed him, I was kind of like, wow, that really has got to suck. Having all that dangling from your... Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't feel bad for him anymore. Not at all. It's funny because, you know, I have sympathy for people that can't help their situation. This motherfucker can help it. Yes. Because, you know, Dr. They Oz... They offered. Yeah. And listen, I sometimes would like to punch Dr. Oz in the neck, but listen, if they were willing... I don't care if it's for TV or not. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to help yeah. this dude. And you know they're not going to just get him some Dr. Nick type of doctor. They're going to – they want it to go well because they want to have this guy on and give the – Maybe you they're going to do it like how to castrate horses and just put that tight rubber band around it. Just, oh. let, it, just let it die and I fall thought, off. I thought you just meant shoot him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude, there aren't rubber bands that big. You'd have to get, like, fucking huge bungee cords. It's perfect. Get some ratchet straps. <laughs> 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 wow, that's that's pretty harsh, man. And perfect. <laughs> Ugh. God damn it, man. I just can't get past the whole Ugh, filled with water thing. <sighs> well, on the upside, I guess wherever he is, he always, you know, if he needs a drink. Yeah, he's like a camel. He just does, needs to go to the desert and not drink for a while, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe it'll drain up. Probably not. It'll just grow bigger. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Joseph Lamar Khan, registered sex offender, arrested while sunbathing naked and holding a rubber penis. Problem? <laughs> Isn't this what you do on vacation? Hell yeah. Yeah. Register yourself as a sex yeah, offender. Like, hey guys, guess what? <laughs> Suntan nude. <laughs> and... I'm working on my tan with my floppy guy here. <laughs> you just lay it in various <laughs> parts of your body. <laughs> So it looks like you, like on your... No, it's like uh, a neck roll, so you don't hurt your neck. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> no, what you do is you lay it kind of next to your actual dick, like up, <laughs> up on your stomach. It's people like, whoa. Oh. Like, wow, that that's one misshapen dick, dude. <laughs> like, oh, my God, what happened to you? <laughs> You're like, well, I doctor... I 100-pound scrotum guy was bad. <laughs> I just going to say, well, Dr. Oz offered to help me remove it, but the ladies like it. <laughs> they like the, the knuckle in it. <laughs> Oh, oh. Man. forget rib for their pre their pleasure, man. This one's knuckled for the buckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. All right. Joseph Lamar Khan said he wanted to simply catch a few rays by sunbathing nude. 
Oh, dude. So he wanted to catch a few rays. Ray happens like to be Ray a guy's Minch. name. Yeah. <laughs> yes. However, by doing it on his front porch in Florida, of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. God damn it. He managed to catch the attention of the Ocala Police Department. Weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Khan, a 49-year-old registered sex offender, was taken into custody Monday for allegedly exposing himself while holding a rubber penis in his hand. Officers answering a call from a neighbor. Oh, really? The, uh, who snitches on a guy just just trying to catch some exactly. some rays, holding his dong out there? Gee, got to air that shit out every once in a while. He <laughs> yeah. want he didn't want the tan lines, you see? On the rubber dong? That too. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> officers drove to Khan's home where they allegedly saw him lying nude on a blanket and gripping a rubber phallus. When Khan spotted the in cops, his teeth. <laughs> when Khan spotted the cops, he wrapped himself in the blanket, according to Gainesville.com. He ducked inside the oh, house. Now and, he becomes bashful. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Well, at least he didn't assault him with it. Well, that's true. <laughs> uh, dildo bat time. He ducked inside the house. No, throw him. Oh, yeah, right. Throwing dildos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he ducked inside the house and reemerged wearing shorts. Hopefully they were like the 1980s coat shorts, <laughs> you know, Just old school pair of umbros. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, you know, like Larry Bird. Uh, basketball shorts, <laughs> right. you know, the ones that are just barely past the, the nuts. The arresting officer, Anthony Rigetti, asked Khan why he'd been naked and the suspect told him he likes to sunbathe while holding the sex toy. Who doesn't? <sighs> It's like a teddy bear, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> nice and comforting. Nice. Linus in his blanket. He added that he, <laughs> he added that he wasn't aware he could be seen from the street, which is also <laughs> front porch. Which is also home to a Methodist church. <laughs> Please tell me it's Sunday. Uh well it was for him. See well, what I did there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. It didn't help that Khan forty nine is a registered sex offender who was found guilty in two thousand two of principal lewd assault and sexual battery on a victim younger than sixteen. And was released from prison in March after serving a one-year sentence for violating sex offender rules. Now, the question is, does this violate sex offender rules? I don't know. It seems like it would. Because he's nude for a sex toy in his front yard. And, and had the free candy sign on his ball bag. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. true. At least it wasn't a 100-pound scrote just dripping oh, down the God. fucking stairs. Uh. <laughs> It looks like taking a water, a giant water weenie, and just <laughs> speaking of the beanbag comment. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. Who oh boy, it looks like the pink goo in Ghostbusters too. Yes, it's Ugh. actually exactly like that. All righty, now let's come to the last story of the week. Hey, <clears throat> which you know, this is kind of the, probably an asshole of the week too, because this woman, ugh. anyways. Stephanie Dillard accused of abandoning kids in car, eating ice cream, taking clothes off in Houston. Problem? Sounds like a nice afternoon. Right. I'll crack the window. I'm going to go get some ice cream, and Mommy's getting topless. <laughs> Police say Stephanie Dillard got into a minor accident with a Houston, like a minor accident like the last guy. <laughs> or Jerry Sandusky. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yikes. That's a minor pileup. That wasn't on accident. <laughs> uh, with a Houston City bus on Friday while driving with her three children. She walked away from the crash, but left her kids in the banged-up car. Dillard allegedly... Yeah, because the cops are going to show up and be like, all right, which one of you three was driving? <laughs> it was all a right, nice car. Son, bitches. Well, it was a nice car. They're black. It's a nice neighborhood. Yeah. He just arrests all three of the kids. Fucking racist. Excuse me. Anyways. Um, where is it? She allegedly grabbed some ice cream and stripped naked in a nearby drugstore where police found her. Dillard's children, ages 5, 12, and 16, all suffered minor injuries in the crash. Dillard is charged with endangering a child. Not leaving the scene of an accident? Interesting. Uh, Reuters <clears throat> reports that the cause of Dillard's behavior isn't known, but in some states, if a sudden medical emergency like a stroke causes an accident, the driver generally can't be held liable for the crash. Oh, jeez. But the excuse doesn't hold if the driver knew about her condition and failed to take medication to treat it. Huh. Yeah. The Houston Press reports that Dillard's children were turned over to their grandmother, whom we hope did not offer to take them for consolatory scoops of ice cream, the press writes. Really? They have yeah. to put in their jokes, man. Fucking assholes. That And that one's not a Huffington Post joke. That's from the uh, Houston Press. <sighs> this is from Texas? They should yeah. let that guy loose on her. <laughs> Time to get punched in the head repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Or Tyson. 
He likes punching ladies. No, he doesn't anymore. He no. likes dealing with his um, pigeons and that's doing right. his one man show. Yeah, that's right. Good point. Speaking of, would you pay seventy five bucks to see that? Kind of. It kind of feels uh, maybe. like something. Maybe. It kind of feels like something you need to see, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because I've always liked Tyson. I kind of hope HBO like and his crazy one liners. Yeah, I. You know? I kind of hope HBO does like with Colin Quinn's one man show yeah, 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 yeah. or Pee Wee Herman's thing. I, I kind of hope they do that with Tyson also. Cause yeah, that'd be cool. I really don't want to pay to see something like that, but it would be. I think it might be an interesting sit through. I'm sure it'd be interesting to watch, and hopefully, maybe it'd be on DVD eventually. Yeah, I don't think I'd pay. So I hope I don't think I'd pay ticket price to go see it. If there is God, God, please let there be an audio commentary. <laughs> <laughs> in this part, in the the documentary, I was thinking. Beat the part where I talk. Oh, man. I was using my mental fortitude. <laughs> See, to, to make a widow of his wife. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to make orphans of your children. <laughs> uh, his wife will still be alive. <laughs> good old Tyson. There's some good sound bites there. Oh, God. He's yes. the best. That's the reason they called him Iron Mike. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Mine like an iron trap. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> rusty, never opening. Rusty, iron. bottom of the ocean iron <laughs> trap. <laughs> I still wouldn't want to take a punch from him. No, fuck that <laughs> shit. Even not, now. Not even if he held back. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> I'd be like, no, no, busy. Hey, I'm good. Yeah. Because I know no matter where he hit me. It's going to hurt. My colon's just going to explode. <laughs> Arm, colon explodes. <laughs> yep. Although, nah. Damn, All right, this is where I need to, you know, cue up the, um. Oh, shit. What was it? The, I think I could beat Mike Tyson song. Oh, remember that? Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could beat Mike Tyson. Well, if my laptop wasn't dead, <sighs> next week we'll plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I guess in all honestly, honesty, you know, I could tell Seamus to put it in. That's true. Post. He's been kind of lazy lately, though. Well, he is a drunken. <laughs> yeah. You can't expect much out of a drunken pug. No. Yeah. Minimal. Minimal. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All he, all he wants is his shepherd's pie and uh, well, who does it? It's delicious. Guinness. Yeah, perfect. That's <laughs> maybe some Jamesons. It depends on the day. A lot of times, you know, he doesn't really care. As long as it, the day ends in Y, he's down. Pretty much. That's what I'm saying. By down, you mean drunken on the floor? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he'll do that. The worst part is he keeps rolling over and showing us what's under his kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn tradition. I know. Hey, that's what a real man wears. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a smile, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh shit. All right. Well, I guess we choose some uh, some shout outs and whatnot. What? Like say uh, salty language at Twitter or salty underscore oh, language on the Jesus Twitter. Oh Jesus Christ! Or salty language on the yeah. Gmail. Yep. Or of course, let's see if I can do this. Come on, you can do this. S- salty language slash no. Salty oh, language fail. Dot wix. <laughs> dot com slash podcast i'm gonna do a call back our here page the fail those are just swept on oh, through i did it or the fail boat as i mentioned yes. the one time if you go to our web page though it has all the links to everything you want and our buddy dan rather has a would you rather question he does which i'm gonna be have to it'll be a new one by the time this one yeah. comes up and actually uh my hope is that at some point we'll uh start um taping the would you rathers putting that on the video section and mm. then having the poll coordinate with it oh fancy shit. it that's right son monocle fancy damn maybe double monocle fancy possibly which is you know an episode that we did of the show it is it's a fantastic episode even though i remember nothing about it no that's was, when when like you know rose would be like oh when you guys did this i'm like i don't. i know seriously <laughs> pretty much once we're done man it's a lot of times i forget what we did for a few days, yeah. and then it kind of rolls back. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't always listen back I to the episodes. I hear bits and pieces when Jeannie listens to it. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to listen to it, and I'm like, what am I doing? Mm-hmm. I, 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 don't, I can't listen to me anymore. Really? Yeah. You don't like feeding your ego that way? No. Nope. Like, man, I'm funny. Dude, we'll, nope. we'll, we'll go to bed, and she'll have it on. and be like, I don't want to listen to me and try to fall asleep. Please yeah. turn it off. Yeah. I guess I could get that. Yeah. <laughs> you're like telling, talking to yourself, going to sleep. Like it's basically like I said before. It's like the equivalent of Kenny Powers listening <laughs> to his own yes, audio his own book, book yeah. wrote by him. <laughs> Kenny, I'm the Powers. ball that can throw or the ball. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm the guy that can throw the ball fast as fuck. 
Oh my goodness, man! I didn't know we had an bound and down. You got to watch it. Army of failed dozers. Oh, dude, tonight. it's <laughs> they're it, taking down like a fucking stadium. It's creeping up on me. Oi. All right, what, is there anything we didn't plug? I don't think so. I don't know. Podgodsnetwork.com. Podgods, yep, of course. Check out all the uh, other shows. They're all great. Seriously, check out our, uh, you know, have, have a look-see at the uh, webpage. Help us out, you know. Yeah, exactly. Just Just click on the there. donate button if you can. Yep, yep. Help, help two poor children out for just pennies a day. <laughs> You can help us make this a better podcast. And, of course, there's our phone number, 415-85-SALTY. Yeah. And I would give you the actual numbers, but I don't have them in front of me. I don't e- Well, I could, but I'm, so, not, I'm too lazy. Just look at your keypad and figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> or look at our copious tweets. Yes, exactly. And I am going to be putting the phone number on the website. I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah. I need to. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I put it on the Facebook thing or not. I don't think I did. I think I forgot to do that. Ah, it's brand new. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, we did get such a, whew. I, mean, I don't know how all those calls came through. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know. I, whew, that's yeah. tough. It's tough. Yeah, seriously, you know, call us. Tell us to fuck off. Whatever you want to tell us. Yep. Maybe it'll make the show. Maybe it won't. Exactly. Maybe it'll make our personal archives. I will say this. What? If you're telling us off in a creative and hilarious way. It'll be always make the show. Or feeding our ego in a creative, sexy, or hilarious way. It'll always make the right. show. And as always, Tony wants, you know, booby pics sent to... Uh... Damn straight! <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, yeah, right. I think, I think I we plugged everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Hmm. So I guess it's a poor show. We say, have a beer, you'll be fine. Will they, though? Will they? Find out next week! <laughs> See you, folks.